welcome to Powerboat Nation TV. What we have here is a serpentine drive kit from Harden Marine that we're going to be installing on this 540 engine here. One of the best things about this kit is how easy it is to install. Everything you need for the installation onto the front of the engine is included in this kit as it is really a well put together package. If you have a supercharger on your engine, they have a kit for that as well. There is a bit of an order you need to follow to be able to get this installed correctly so that you don't have to take stuff back off to begin with. First thing you're going to start with is installing the power steering pump onto the bracket. It mounts up onto the side, got bolts from the back, thread them in place, tighten them down, then that part of the bracket's installed. Next we're going to move to putting the seat pump in place. I'm going to install it onto the front of the block. It has two spacers, run one up inside, drop the other one in place, and then we'll just kind of tighten it down a little bit to hold it in place for right now. Now we're going to mount the main bracket up onto the engine. I've already installed the plugs into the back of the crossover as we're going to be using the front inlet for moving water into this engine. And again, just kind of run the bolts in a little bit, get it started. Take and cinch them down just a little bit so that it's not going to go anywhere. Another nice thing about this is it's actually O-ringed on the back here to the block. So you don't have any gaskets you got to worry about. Just a little bit of grease on there and it'll hold it all in place. Now let's take and put the idler assemblies on. Got a spacer that goes back behind here. Pull it back, run the bolt into it, slide it in place, just kind of run it in by hand. Take the next one. It's going to go into the second spacer that we put onto the seat pump already. Run it in, kind of get it cinched up. We haven't tightened really anything yet. We're just kind of mocking everything up. Take the alternator now, set the alternator up in place. Pull the bolt back on it, slide the bolt in, and it'll thread in nice and easy. One of the last little pieces left is this little brace. It's going to go back from behind the C-pump to the alternator, and that's going to tie those two units together, keep them from moving around. Now that we have the crossover and everything tight on the front of the engine, it's time to install the belt and then get this engine back in the boat. Have a great day in the water. Thanks for watching Powerboat Nation TV.